Today we're going to build this, a miniature gypsy caravan. So come on, let's get started. The most difficult part of this build is the roof. So before anything else we have to cut 10 pieces of timber with both edges ripped to 10 degrees. This is to enable us to build a three quarter circle. As you know, the old gypsy caravans had a really round roof. The more precise you are at this stage, the better your roof planks will fit together. It all depends on the lengths of the gypsy caravan you're going to make, but my roof is going to be 12 inches long and each strip will be 35 millimeters wide at its widest point. Unfortunately, I just run out of masking tape, so I'm using cello tape. It works just as well since the planks are so small. If I was bigger, I'd suggest something more like duct tape, a lot more strength. Now carefully flip your roof over. I have to be extra careful here because this cello tape is pretty rubbish for this job. I wouldn't use it again. Put plenty of glue down in those angles and brush it well in. You want it to be really strong. Carefully lift the roof up on its edge and gently press it together. Don't squeeze it too much though. Then put some tape across the face to hold it in that position until it's dry. While the roof's drying, it's time to rip the pieces of plywood that'll form the front and back walls of the caravan. This is marine ply that I'm using, but you can use whatever timber you'd like. Next is a very important part of the build, in terms of looks. You need to rip about half a dozen or so thin strips of wood from any type of timber you like. Over to the router table. Router both face edges with a quarter inch round over a bit. As you'll see later on, this will give the illusion of tongue and groove planks. Cut your routered strips to fit the walls you just ripped on the table saw. I'm using my chop saw, but you could just as easily use a hand saw. That looks good. I mark the inside of both walls, just for reference. Using the roof as a guide, trace the shape onto the walls. Now to the band saw. Carefully cut out your traced shapes. Notice I extended the lines to the edge of the plywood. I found this much easier to cut. I say it's not what it was. Draw and cut out where you want the doors to be on the walls. Notice I notched out for wood to make lower walls. They'll be fitted later. I have ripped some thinner strips of wood to fit the doorways and I'm now cutting out the round tops on the scroll saw. Time to do a bit of sanding. Take your time here and make the roof nice and round and smooth. After fitting the lower walls, trace the shape onto a piece of plywood. This will be your floor. Just cut it out on the table saw, or by hand, or whatever else you want to use. As you can see, 
I've already fitted two strips below the roof of the caravan. Now I'm adding these thin strips to cover the edge of the plywood. I've had a bit of bad luck. <clears throat> My bandsaw blade broke and I've had to order a new one. So the only thing I can do is use a table saw to cut the wheels. This can be quite dangerous, so unless you have plenty of experience using a table saw, don't do it. Use a jigsaw or a coping saw. I made these small axles to mount the wheels. Just put a spouting bolt through each end. The next thing is to mark where to pre-drill the axles. This will make it easier for the screws to go in. All you have to do now is to attach the axles to the base of the caravan. That looks good. As you can see I've painted the small doors that I made red. Now I'm adding a small extension to the front axle. I made this small drawbar from thin strips of wood to add to the front axle just to give it a bit more authenticity. Now I'm cutting out small step supports for the back door of the caravan. Time to glue the back steps into place. A good tip is to use hot glue as well. This will hold the steps until the wood glue dries. Next turn the caravan right way up and glue on the treads. Again use the hot glue to assist you. Now I connect the front draw bar. I'm painting the roof of my caravan green. You can paint it whatever colour you want or you can even leave it, leave it just natural wood. It's up to you. So there it is folks. The finished article. I think it looks good. So listen, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. So until I see you the next time, or you see me, all the best. Bye bye.